Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of the custom brush tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to add a few features to the brushes, um, which is what I really struggled with when I first um, started working in Photoshop. For instance, with the sort of kind of selection of brushes you're given, you might have a round brush, uh, which has no kind of deviation to its size at all. Um, now, what we do is uh, originally I was in the brush presets menu, uh, which you can see the tree that we made last time at the bottom there. Um, but this time using a, a solid round brush. Now if I go to the brush settings, which is also any of these if they're not on your uh, setup at the start, they'll be in the window tab and you can click on them in there. So there's brush there. Um, you can affect the uh, shape of the um, brush to make it more uh, pointed based on your pressure. So you can click shape dynamics and make sure that pen pressure um, is selected in the control in size jitter. So now that will be whoa, thin and fat and thin and fat, depending on your pressure that you put into it. Um, but also if you're doing lots of kind of painterly work, you might want to make sure the transfer layer is on for a brush too, which means that uh, the opacity is affected by how hard you press too. Um, so with both of those on, it now means that I have size and opacity affected um, when I press down. So um, that's pretty helpful too. The, the uh, opacity jitter is also controlled by the pen pressure um, in the control as well, so make sure that's set up too. Um, so going back to the other brush that we made before, for instance, if you wanted to make um, a fancy forest uh, on a map, currently you can see that this brush just um, just jams all the trees together. It's no good. You won't be able to do that. You have to do them all individually, like I was doing before. Um, but if you went back to the brush tab again. Uh, increase the spacing between them. Okay, so now they're a bit spread out, but a bit uniform. Let's go to scattering. Turn that on too, and I can affect how much it scatters and how much, uh, how many trees I get in there, um, based on my pen pressure. The scatters based on my pen pressure too, so I can just start to vary those a wee bit. Um, also, if I turn on shape dynamics, say for instance, if I want to have a varied size of my forest, I can put that on too. That's probably a bit too much. Um, so now I can just start to create my forest wherever I want on my fancy map. Uh, 